NBC News Studios is launching its first original podcast series today. It's called Letters from Sing Sing. The seven-part series chronicles an extensive investigation into a man who spent more than 20 years behind bars for a murder that he insists he did not commit. Award-winning Dateline veteran and NBC News investigative producer Dan Slepian is here. Dan, I know you spent a couple decades looking into this. I mean, tell us, how did this all start? Well, frankly, it all started with a single letter. It started with a letter that J.J., John Adrian, J.J. Velasquez sent me on December 5th, 2002. And that turned into a stack of letters within the next 20 years and a 20-year odyssey for me that, frankly, changed my life and so many others. It, it took me into a very dark abyss into what the criminal justice system, many people say the criminal legal system now, um, treats people with post-conviction claims of innocence and really poked a hole in the center of Pandora's box, and it was very, very troubling what I saw inside, because it's much bigger than just J.J. And I know by 2014, you had been investigating J.J.'s case, uh, but more than a decade at that point, uh, you were still in regular contact with him, and that December, he sent you a letter right after he found out that uh, his appeal had been denied, right? We want to play a little clip from, uh, of J.J. actually reading that letter in your podcast. We'll play that and then talk about it. It is with great regret that I must sit here at this lonely hour and inform you that justice has no place in my life. And that hope is just a cruel joke. The craziest part of it all is that I may have to die before anyone really cares about what's actually happening. Do I have to jump off a prison tier with a noose around my neck to get people to realize that wrongful convictions are a slow death? Tell me, Dan, what's it gonna take? Wow, I mean, it's so powerful to hear that in his own words. How was that a turning point in, in your I mean, relationship with him and in, in, in both your lives? After so I mean, many that, years? That, that, that was a moment where, I mean, you can just hear it for yourself, that there's a difference between being a journalist and being a human being. And um, when I got that letter, my relationship with him fundamentally changed. And you're going to have to, this is why the podcast is seven episodes, yeah. <laughs> because you're going to have to listen to it to understand why. But J.J. is a, what he did is he became a hero. We, he, he led me to other people. He became my one-man innocence project inside of Sing Sing, leading me to people like Eric Listen, who we did stories about, who were all innocent. And he was the last one to get out of that group. And he is now, now out now. What has J.J. been doing since getting out of prison? J.J. is a superstar, phenomenal, phenomenal, exceptional human being that's changing the world and will continue to change the world. Two months ago, the president of the United States publicly apologized to him on behalf of society, yet he is still on parole and remains a convicted killer here in New York City. Mm -hmm. So the push for him right now is exoneration. He's working for the Frederick Douglass Project for Justice. He is going back into prisons to take people from the outside world, the free world, to teach them to, with proximity so they can understand the humanity inside of prisons. And that's his mission in life. Yeah. And sometimes that's the only way to really understand it is when you, when you go inside. Absolutely. Yeah. The story is unfinished in so many ways. Absolutely. Right? Uh, Dan Slepian, we appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, you so for much. Having me on. And we want to let folks know again you can listen to the series Letters from Sing Sing wherever you get your podcasts. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.